Hi, I'm Max Spainauer. And I'm Troy McCormick. Welcome to Indiana Outdoor Adventures. Welcome to Indiana Outdoor Adventures. Today we're out four-wheeling, but we're doing it in an organized manner with a lot of ATVs and side-by-sides. We're here today in Crothersville and we're getting ready to go on a side-by-side -side run. And Lindy, tell me a little bit about Joy of Giving and the reason for today's event. Joy of Giving is to help families in need in the communities. Um, it was started back in the 1990s from Bill Tom Harmon, um, also now their son Willie Harmon is involved. And we started to kind of have a friendly competition between the three groups, um, Harmon Construction, Harmon Steel, and Taylor Brothers. Um, we did a friendly competition. Um, the first year we did our friendly competition, we raised 8,000. The next year, it was 30 some thousand. Last year, we raised over 83,000, and we're just trying to come up with different ways to help in the community. Um, we also started a backpack program, so food gets sent home with the kids on the weekend right. that go without. Um, we take families shopping, and by Christmas, we help with medical bills, utilities, a wide variety, and everything that we raise goes to the kids. And the idea is then, the, today's event is all about literally the joy of giving yes. and helping out those that need help in the community. Correct. You mentioned friendly competition a mm -hmm. couple of times. Has it always been racing ATVs or riding ATVs or have you done other things? We've sold cookbooks. Um, last year we had a big event that was an ATV, a golf outing and a motorcycle ride all in one. Um, wow. <laughs> we have a Christmas, uh, Taylor Brothers usually does like a friendly um, dinner there with Christmas Santa Claus uh, the, and they have a bunch of kids activities going on, just a wide variety, whatever we can do to try to raise money. And so then do you have special projects this year that the money being raised this weekend will go toward or is just some of those that you were already mentioning? Some of them that we, I have already mentioned, plus we're also going to help get a food pantry going at our local middle school and high school in Jennings County. So Ardell, tell me a little bit about the event itself today and what we're doing and what went into it. Well, this is our fourth year having our charity uh, ATV and side-by-side -side ride. Uh, there's a lot of opportunity for motorcyclists to have uh, charity rides and we want to create something more unique for the ATV and side-by-side -side enthusiasts. Okay. I've rode ATVs for about 20 years now and we thought this would be a unique opportunity to uh, raise awareness for our charity and give opportunity for all the people that enjoy riding in Indiana. Okay, And, and it, it is unique because tell me a little bit about Crothersville and their relationship with ATVs. Well, Crothersville, I I'm, uh, I'm serve on the town council for the town of Crothersville and uh, in the past year we have legalized the use of ATV and side-by-sides on the city streets. So um, we want to encourage all that we're a rural community and a lot of our rural neighbors have these machines and, and in this economy of saving gas and encouraging people to come to town, uh, we legalize the use of ATV. So this year we're having the ride starting and ending in Crothersville to help spotlight that fact and, um, and just to allow people a good time. What does it take to be licensed or to be street legal to be able to drive it in the community? Well, you have to have your DNR sticker okay. and then it's inspected by our local police department and you're issued a sticker from the police department, um, a $25 fee, and then you're legal to ride 24-7. Do you have to get licensed like other vehicles on the street? Or you like, have to like be a, a license plate? No, you know, you just have a sticker. You have to be a licensed operator. Right. And um, it has to have tail lights. No. Okay. No. Uh, tail lights, headlights, and that's it. Great. Now, today's event is not going to be in town. Uh, we're going to go through town to show people and show off Crothersville to everybody. A lot of folks not come to Crothersville, so we are going to go through the community on our way, but we're going to traverse both Jackson, Jennings, Jefferson, and Scott counties, 
and um, go to the communities of Lovett, Deputy Blotcher, as well as Crothersville. I mean, isn't it like 75 miles? Yeah, nearly 80 miles. The route I have planned is 77 and a half miles. It'll take us about five hours with our stops. Well, we've got a few vehicles showing up today. Yes. How many do you think we're going to end up with for this uh, ride? Um, I'm sure we'll have at least 80 machines. My goal is always 100 machines. We had, I believe, as of yesterday afternoon, 58 machines pre-registered. Okay. I'm real encouraged by the turnout. Of course, the weather is a big contributor to that. So my goal is 100 machines. Great. Well, it's a gorgeous day. Yes. Uh, it's perfect for a ride. So anybody was contemplating it, we'll hope they decided to go ahead and uh, come on over and bring the machine. We'll get them out on the road with us. Definitely. Everybody's welcome to join us side-by-sides, ATVs. If they pay, I'll let them go. I don't care. <laughs> there you go. It's all about raising it's, money today for the charity. That's right, helping those less fortunate. I'm here with Bill and Tom Harmon, owners of a second generation company that is actually putting on this event today in Crothersville, Indiana. Um, Bill, can you tell us a little bit about the event, how it's come about, um, how your company's involved? Well, we started a charity organization probably seven, eight years ago. Some of the employees ride these things all the time, so that was one of the ideals that come out from the committee that let's have an ATV ride. And I think this is our fourth or fifth year for the ride. Wow. So over the ride, it's a, it's a, for joy of giving is, is one of the, where the money can go to and then disperse it out there. I'm mm -hmm. taking it. Gotcha. All we do is give them the opportunity and they do it all. We got committees formed and the employees have taken hold of this. and. All we do is give them the opportunity, and a whole lot of people did this today. So. Well, and the big thing is, sir, you, you've given the opportunity. That's big. And most people don't do that in this day and age, it seems like. And you guys have really stepped up, and then your employees on top of that. Uh, how many employees do you have at your companies? Oh, uh, in the summertime when we get busy, we'll get up to three to 400 with office and field employees. Wow. Great weather, can't beat it. Uh, that's great, and who do you have with you? Uh, I've got my wife with me, which she's probably in line for the bathroom right now, and there's a few other people. And then there's a hundred other people I probably don't know here. So. <laughs> but it's all about getting to know people and riding today. That's right. Everybody's having a good time out here. Great. And who's this over here uh, uh, riding our break? <laughs> this is Megan. Hi, Megan. Megan Gross. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you have a good rest of the day. All right. Thank you. I'm a German offer owner of Nightcrawler Customs in southern Indiana, and uh, this is my wife, Amanda, and we build a lot of uh, custom accessories for the Polaris Razors, the 800s and the 900s, and we're just out enjoying the poker run. What kind of customizations do you do? Uh, anything from roll cages to Nerf bars, A-arms, windshields, about anything from the Polaris. Are you, are you driving or riding today? I'm driving. You're I'm driving. Are you having ride. fun doing it? I sure am. Yeah, what are you riding today? Looks like a... <laughs> <laughs> caught you off guard there, didn't um, I? <laughs> 800 EFI. 800 EFI. There you go. How, is it fun riding on the roads or do you like being off-road better? I like being off-road. Yeah. I don't like the roads. It's a lot of driving on uh, pavement today, isn't it? You're going like 30 mile an hour. <laughs> you can go faster. <laughs> no what, doubt. If we had 75 miles of off-roading, would you do it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Indiana Outdoor Adventures. Offering basic to advanced obedience training, housebreaking, and behavior modification for your hunting dog or household pet. Shannon Dog Training is your full-service training center. We provide pet training, detection training, and kennel facilities. We specialize in detection dogs for narcotics, cell phones, arson, and cadaver dogs used by jails, prisons, and security centers. Shannon Dog Training can provide you with total off-leash control for a dependable working dog or well-behaved pet. Life Essentials in Brookston, Indiana provides the products you need to become more independent. Products like our journeyman wheelchair provide all-terrain access for the hunter and all-around outdoorsman. Every year, thousands of people are born with or acquire disabilities. Whether your special needs are for residential, commercial, agricultural, or just enjoying the outdoors once again, we customize our lifts and mobility products to fit your needs. We're raising you to new heights. Call today and we'll work with you to take back your life. Looking for adventure? Marengo Cave has it all. Explore the underground wonders of Marengo Cave with our two easy walking tours or go on an adventurous cave exploring trip with hard hats and lots of mud. 
kids will love discovering gemstones at the Cave Springs Mining Flume. This U.S. National Natural Landmark has been open to the public since 1883 and provides breathtaking views of underground cave formations. Visit us online at MaringoCave.com and plan your visit today. Blastmasters of Indianapolis, Indiana is your source for custom stone sandblasting. We etch limestone markers for gardens and home landscaping projects to pet memorial stones and address markers. We offer brick pavers for fundraising projects and large monument stones for memorials and parks. Contact us today for your custom sandblasted Indiana limestone markers and memorial projects. Welcome to Indiana Outdoor Adventures. We're frog gigging in Park County, Indiana. This is our second one. We're looking for more. Hold him right there like that. That's right. Mac and I are going out frog gigging. We've joined up with pro staffer David Blake to go out on a small pond in Park County, and we're going gigging for frogs. We're using a four-pronged pointed gig, and we're looking for bullfrogs. Yeah, tell me about the pond, what happened. Yeah, uh, his pond rolled over and his fish, not all of his fish died, but probably 90% of them. Uh, when a pond rolls over, it uh, bottom sediment comes up, takes the oxygen out of the water and the fish die. When the fish die, there's nothing to eat the tadpoles and you end up with a couple of years of real good frog gigging and that's he just had this rollover this spring. The frogs aren't real big yet, but there's plenty of them in here, and we're getting we're getting some big ones. But uh, but there's a plenty of little ones. Yeah, yeah, it'll be good. This will be good uh, gigging for the next couple of years until the fish start getting bigger. That's good. You seem to turn and look at that other. Yeah, you got it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a little nicer frog. Big old the way we like him. I'll tell you what, that's pretty clear water here. Yeah, it's nice. This is, this is a nice pond. It's now, there's a lot that goes into frog gigging. There's stealth. You've got to be quiet. You've got to sneak up on the frogs uh, because you can get close to them, but then they're going to jump into the water and they're gone. You've got to get within stabbing distance to be able to uh, capture these bullfrogs on the point of your gig. Got it. Got it. There you go. Yeah. Head. Head shot. Hold him up there, let me see. He's patty. Not a monster. Not a monster, but it's some uh, pretty good legs. Pretty good legs. Back. Yeah, these are good, healthy, good, healthy frogs. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, he looks like, well, yeah. ain't too bad. Oh, man, get closer to you. For yeah, he's a little he, His eyes aren't too far apart. Oh, yeah. I think he's a keeper. Yeah. You want to get a little closer? Yeah, get a little closer. Oh, man. He, mm. Mm. That bit, I was right on him, too. Oh. Four of them. Oh, look at that. Man, I might get two in one gig here. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be awesome. God, which one's the biggest? I think the one in the back is looks the biggest one, the biggest head. <laughs> Look at that other one getting the move. Yeah, yeah, I'll go back and get him. Oh, oh, oh. Look at this. That's my big frog of the night there. Look at the size of that dude. <laughs> that's a dandy. I might oh, let me see him, Mac. Wow. That's a, that's a nice frog. Yeah, that there frog is probably 14 inches long. Let me take a look at this one. That one, no, my God, that's a, that's a keeper, too. Yeah. 
There's more jumping back in there, too. That's like the biggest one. You got him. I got him. There's another one. You get him? Yeah. I don't see him drop him in the basket. Yeah, that liver, that liver gets the bleed in here. I feel like I'm on Gilligan's Island in their boat. Yeah. Yeah, he's happy. Good eyes, bro. I was we were looking to the left. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you didn't get that one, did you, Troy? I got one from behind my back. I, I was on the wrong side. <laughs> yeah. He's a great big one. Behind dude. my back, between my legs. Oop, boom. <laughs> got him. He's a big one. Wow. Uh, Barely get your hand around him. Yeah. Look at the size. Oh, yeah. Of him. Now there's a croaker. That's. Look at this one still flopping. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're Pull looking up, for Mac. there. That's a nice one. Tell me what you got. Yeah, it, it, it's a half tadpole, half frog. This is the transition that it goes into. Tilt him more so I can see him toward the camera. Yeah. That? He couldn't like that. swim hardly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's just coming up. You got see, his tail and his legs. Mm -hmm. You can see he's just transitioning. He doesn't know whether to breathe air or stay underwater. You see him kind of gasping for air, but yet he's still, he's about ready to come out on land. So he's probably still more in the tadpole stage where he stays underwater. Can you see him? Yeah, him? I got him. Okay. I didn't see him shoot out. I think he's mine. I think he's on there. Good job. Not not real big, but not bad. What about that one right there, Dave? Uh, he looks he's too small. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow, just you want me to grab me that one? Hand me that one. I'll get up here and take a little bit. <coughs> Look at them all, you guys. Look at my light right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I might pop this one. What about this one right here? Oh, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have took him. He's on this one. Right here? <laughs> Is that one small? That one's pretty low. He's right there. Which one are you going to have to go now, sir? I don't know. You got one right there. You get this. Oh, oh he just went down. He went to the left. Nice shot. Who did that? Oh, that's a good one. Look at that guy. Look at the camera in through the woods. Nice, 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 nice day, man. All right. <laughs> he didn't knock Joyce's hat off. Yeah, he didn't even knock his hat off. Come on, man. I was looking at the other one. I go, hey, he just jumped. <laughs> Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more Indiana Outdoor Adventures. After serving our country, serious injury shouldn't prevent our veterans from enjoying life. Paralyzed Veterans of America works with veterans to ensure that their health care and benefit needs are met, provides assistance with career needs, and offers challenging and rewarding activities. The Kentucky and Indiana chapter of PVA is also proud to provide adaptive sports and activities for its members. Paralyzed Veterans of America depends on the public's generosity to support its programs. Make your donation today and help give back to our nation's paralyzed heroes. The Old Goat Trading Post in Bloomingdale, Indiana offers not only traditional fur hides, hats, and mountain man-like apparel, but beautifully crafted spirit hides. Artistically sculpted from elk, moose, deer, and buffalo hides, they are the perfect wall hanging for your home or vacation cabin. The shaved hair sculpture and original painted scenes combine to create a natural canvas and work of art. Visit www.oldgoattrading.com for more information. Cave Country Canoes 
located in the heart of Indiana's cave country, offers a variety of canoe rental trips from half-day outings for beginners to two-day adventures for the more experienced enthusiast. Our canoe trips follow the gently meandering Blue River through the wooded hills of southern Indiana. Abundant wildlife and great fishing opportunities abound. Go to cavecountrycanoes.com for more information about our canoe and kayak trips. Your next adventure is just a paddle away. Lawrence County is an unexpected destination found in the heart of southern Indiana rolling hills, offering recreational landscapes, a rich limestone heritage, and unique outdoor experiences. This area is limestone country, well known for limestone quarries and stone carving heritage. It's also the home of Spring Mill State Park, geocaches, the scenic East Fork of the White River, and underground caverns. Plan your adventure at limestonecountry.com or call 800-798-0769. Okay, we're gonna set a we're gonna set a limb line for a snapping turtle. Uh, this this limb here doesn't look like much, but it's there it's green and it'll hold them pretty good. So on our next round, if we see this limb bouncing, the fun will start. We'll have a snapper in the boat, and that's always fun on a dark night when you got a 20-pound snapper crawling around nipping at your heels. So you basically you've got a, a line, and you're going to put a hook on it with some bait, yep. and just leave it dangling in the water. Yep, we're going to leave, let her dangle, and we're using the bait of the frog. Yep, we're using remains half, of the frog. Half, half a bowl of frog for bait, and uh, when we make the next round around the pond, we'll just look up here, and if the limb. If the limb is uh, bouncing, I don't know we got one. Best thing about it is we, we catch our bait by killing the frogs. Then... Yeah, that's a good set there. Yeah, it is. Good set. Got a foot off the bottom. Yeah. Pretty close to the edge where yeah, the turtles are coming feed. Yep, right. Right there, <laughs> yeah, that's a nice frog. Look that's that. a good one. Look at that big old web foot there. Mm. Nicely done. Now that, they got good video there. Yeah. That was great. Right over my shoulder because you took my hat off it. <laughs> so that was good. Yeah, at least I didn't make your ear this time. No, that's right. <laughs> Frog gigging is like any kind of hunting or fishing, is when you're done, you're going to get to clean them and eat them. And frog legs have a great taste to them, uh, they're a delicacy in many restaurants, and we've got them right here in Indiana. Uh, there is, there is a, a season uh, for frogging, so you do have to be sure and check the DNR regs. Uh, it's June 15th, opening day of the season, and uh, we're having a blast. Oh, he looks pretty small. Is he? Is he? It looks like his legs dangling. Yeah. He is little. Can you push him? Yeah. That's a big one. Well, heck, he's bigger than Yeah, he's pretty strong. Yeah, he looks like a big one. See how fast he is, how hard he hit him. Hard to get him out of the water. Right <laughs> there. there we go. Right out of the water. Look there. right there. Another one? Yeah. There's some more. How big is he? Oh, oh dang. Oh, man, he's going to be tough. I don't know. I think I might have. Oh, yeah. A double. Double. Oh, now look at, now look at him. He's getting the old orange. Hold him there so I can see him. Yeah, they're both big. Yeah, these are pretty nice ones. Turn around and hold it with together that one is Max got. Okay. Now see that that one actually is a little bit bigger. Oh, 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 oh. Run away from get away. away. <laughs> okay. What were we saying? <laughs> take two with two. Take take two with two. Yeah. Yeah. One of them's getting starting to get the orange throat and the orange belly that's usually a sign of maturity 
Uh, like I say, this this pond just uh, fish killed this spring, and the, the bulls are good size, but uh, here in a couple months, there's going to be a lot of monster bullfrogs in here. Great, great pond. Well, are we ready for round number two and maybe some snapping turtles? <laughs> hey, tell me, tell me this, Dave. Yes. When you're looking at the turtle, you're trying to judge the size of them. The and turtle. turtle. Did I say turtles? Yeah. Take two. Take two. <laughs> hey, Dave, while we're uh, going around looking at these uh, frogs, you're trying to judge the size of them. What is it that you're using to uh, tell whether you think it's uh, one big enough to take or not? Usually the eyes. You can usually tell by the eyes uh, how far apart they are. Of course, it's nice when they're up on the bank a little bit or have their throats out of the water because you can see how broad the head is there. But it, a lot of times they're in the water and all you can see is their eyes sticking up and you just got to kind of judge by how far apart their eyes are. Let's see that. All right, now this is the trick. Gig, film, push that a little bit. Left hand, left hand, oh, that's, that's good, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he nailed Camera it. Cameraman, nice. <laughs> Camera gig and all, man. Yeah. That, yeah. Good, good job, <laughs> Troy. <laughs> Just for the record, that was Troy McCormick, camera in the right hand, gigging in the left hand. <laughs> good, good shot. Uh, <laughs> and left-handed. Are you, are you South Paul? No. Or South Paul, Troy? No, I'm right-handed. And you got I don't do left anything left-handed. Left <laughs> well, besides frog gigging. Except frog yeah. gigging. That's my new specialty, left-handed. You're sport. a natural basket full of frogs and a snapping turtle. Pretty good for a few hours. Okay, now what to do with this guy? Hey, Troy. Okay, Luke. <laughs> Troy, on, you remember uh, when we got the creek turtles, their uh, shells were always smooth and clean? Yep. Look at this turtle. A mud turtle from a, I mean a turtle from a pond. Here, give me a hog on his leg. I got him. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. I sure wished I had an axe or a hatchet. <laughs> get, get rid of the business end of this guy. I could probably hold him while we... Hold him up a little bit more so I can okay, see him. Okay, well, Luke, you got that knife? Yeah. Hold him up so I can see him, David. Hold him up so I can see him. He's a mean one. He's a mean one. We hope to see you again next time right here on Indiana Outdoor Adventures. <laughs>